Hello everyone, welcome to Quarantined with Colleen. That's what I'm gonna call it because we're quarantined and my name's Colleen and it kind of sounds cute. No? Okay. Today I'm going to be buying a bunch of makeup on Amazon. So I have really enjoyed buying different things on Amazon and testing them for you. Cat toys, kid toys, dresses, wedding dresses, prom dresses, and I asked you guys what you wanted to see on my Instagram and everyone said more Amazon stuff. Well, I'm running out of makeup because we are currently quarantined here in California and we are not allowed to go do anything and even if we wanted to go do anything, everything is closed. So I have no way of getting my makeup unless I buy it online, but I'd rather make a video out of it and do an Amazon shop. I've never really bought makeup on Amazon aside from maybe mascara. So I'm interested to see what they have on there and if I will like it. So don't worry, a bunch of you guys told me that you hate when I do videos just shopping for the product. So in this video, I will be testing the products. I'm just gonna buy them quickly on my computer so you guys can see the products I'm getting and we can see how long this is gonna take. Amazon right now is very busy because of everyone buying a million things and freaking out about this quarantine. So um, we might have to be patient with this video. It might not come out for another month or two because I don't know when I'm gonna get these products. However, we're gonna try it out. Remember to stay safe, healthy, wash your hands, stay at home if you are able to, and follow the rules that the government tells you to follow. We are trying to keep everybody safe here. All right, let's get into the video. I am running out of everything, everything. Let's get started. All right, so let's start from the beginning. I don't use primer because I'm a normal person person and guess who uses primer not normal people <gasps> I don't know what these beauty gurus are talking about on the internet I'm sorry no offense beauty gurus but primer is dumb and no one uses it and when I say no one I mean me probably everyone uses it but it's expensive and it's like invisible stuff you put on before your makeup why would I spend a lot of money on something that is invisible it's like spending money on like those Evian water sprays that just spritz your face with expensive water but that is stupid I don't buy primer anyway foundation I'm just gonna type in foundation I'm going to go to average customer reviews. I'm gonna to try to find the good stuff. All right, kids. The number one, re whoa. The number one reviewed thing, 3,700 stars. Wait, 3,700 reviews and it's almost five stars and it's a $10 L'Oreal Maybelline foundation. What? Pro matte. Okay. Oh my God, I don't know what my skin tone would be. Okay, I'm pretty pale and I'm only gonna get more pale because we're in the middle of quarantine and I'm not going outside. So I'm gonna get a pretty pale color and I can always lighten it up with like a bronzer, so it'll do. Next up is concealer. So I'm looking for a good concealer. What? The number one reviewed is LA Girl Pro Concealer. I would never have expected this. Like they're like really cheap, which I'm really happy about, but I'm surprised. I'm so excited to find out if these things are good. Oh, but it, it picked my color for me. That is too dark, so I'm not using that one. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, okay. Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder has 16,000 reviews and it's only seven bucks. I've used this before a really, really long time ago, so I'm excited to try it again. Uh, once again, I'm gonna get a really light color because... Next up, very important, is brows. I really need brow stuff, so... This one has 3,000 really good reviews. It's L'Oreal, like, nasty pencil thing, so... I've never used one like this. I've only ever used the Benefit brow one, so I'm excited to try it. <gasps> Whoa! Did an exorcism just happen in front of your eyes? Because I'm pretty sure it did. I need like a translucent powder or something. I've never even heard of this before. It's either called Sasha or Sacha. It looks like Sacha, but it's probably Sasha. Buttercup setting powder. Let's get an eyeshadow palette. I'm trying my hardest to go with like the top reviewed thing. Oh my God, James Charles is shaking with these colorful palettes. I would never buy this one, but it is the top reviewed, so I'm going to get it. It has 9,000 stars, like five stars, so it seems pretty good. I am going to get some eyeliner, but I need a waterproof eyeliner. I have very leaky eyes. I hate that expression, but they are very leaky. This one says it's waterproof and it's only $5. Why am I going to Ulta and Sephora and spending like 20, 30, 40 bucks on products when I can get them on Amazon for $5? My life is going to be forever changed if I love all of this makeup and it is so freaking cheap because to buy all this makeup at Sephora or Ulta, I would spend hundreds of dollars. I'm shook right now. I hope this stuff is good. I need waterproof mascara. I like the fiber kind to make your eyeballs look like spiders. 
Whoa. Girl, this one has a lot of good reviews. Let's try it. Next up is bronzer and blush. Let's find some good stuff. This bronzer is called What Up Beaches. Oh my God, this blush has such good reviews. I am shook by this makeup, you guys. It's $6. I just need a lip and then I think I'm done. Oh, and some brushes. Lip and brushes and I'm done. Oh my God. The top reviewed is Lady Gaga's. I am so excited. I've been wanting to try Lady Gaga's makeup. The House Laboratories. I'm so excited. Ew, it's so expensive. The audacity of this woman. This better be good. It is $50 for a lip liner and a lip color. Like, are you freaking kidding me? $50, Gaga, you are stealing from me. Okay, now I just need a brush set. Okay, we're on the final product. This is really boring. They have a lot of cute brushes on Amazon and I hate that it's making me buy this boring one, but it is the top reviewed brush set, so. Okay, the bronzer and the powder both weren't gonna get here for 17 years, so I need to get a different one, but I just found a loose face powder that has 17,000 five-star reviews and it's only six bucks, so I actually found a better one than the one I had before, so. Okay guys, I just bought everything. It was $160 for everything. Normally when I go to Ulta or Sephora, I would spend $160 on just a few items, so I'm really excited to try all these products. I'll see you guys in like a week when they all arrive. See you soon. Several days later. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got all the things in the mail. Alrighty guys, I have all of the objects from Amazon. We have definitely disinfected all of them. And I was putting on my makeup this morning. All I put on was foundation and a little bit of eyebrow. And then I was like, <gasps> I think I got all that makeup. I should not be putting on makeup. So I'm gonna take it off and we're gonna try out these products. I am Baxa. All right, so the first thing we have, of course, is not primer, but we have Pro Matte L'Oreal Concealer. I am, don't know about this. I don't have a beauty blender, so I'm going to use um, a makeup brush from this makeup brush set. Remember, all these things were very highly reviewed. Hopefully it's good. There are a lot of cute makeup brush sets on Amazon. However, this one was like one of the best reviewed and it's not cute, but it does come in this nice packaging. Mm. Uh, here's the problem. I'm not a makeup person. I don't know why anyone would need this many brushes and I have zero clue which one of these would put on foundation. In fact, I feel like none of them would. Maybe this one, I feel like I've seen people put foundation on with this. I wish people would put on the brush, like put foundation on this thing and put it on your face. Or like, this goes on your crease of your eyeball. You know, like I wish someone would write it on there because like, I don't freaking know what's for what. But this does look like a foundation brush. So anyway, I'm gonna use that and I have to take off my makeup. I'm so sorry you guys have to see me completely bald on my face. See, I'll bring makeup guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. How is she looking? She's not looking great, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> I made a smoothie this morning and I'm gonna drink it. Okay, here we go. I don't even know if this is my color, y'all, so this might be a complete disaster. It actually looks pretty close. I'm shocked that I was able to do that. I don't have a mirror, so that's not good. Oh, you know what, maybe the eyeshadow palette has a mirror. So let's open up this eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. Okay, it says exposed nudes. Cute little packaging. Please have a mirror. It doesn't have a mirror. It just has be your own kind of beautiful. And also, not a fan of this palette. I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see. But there's no mirror, so I don't need a saying on that that says like, you're beautiful, I want a mirror. Maybe the blush has a mirror. <laughs> Show me onesie. Uh, dang it. There's a mirror. We're in luck. It's very tiny, but there is a mirror on this blush. Here we go. Okay, first impressions are not much. I usually use a beauty blender, so this is weird. I can see stroke, um, like bristle strokes in the foundation, and I don't know if that's the foundation's fault or the brush's fault. I don't know enough about makeup to know. It is a shockingly pretty close color match. I have pretty dry skin, and I feel like I look like pretty dry. This is a matte concealer, and I typically don't use matte. I use a, like a sheer glow NARS foundation, which is like a shimmer, not a shimmer, but it's got like a glow to it. I feel like it's good at moisturizing me a little bit because I do have really, really dry skin. Get it on the neck. I don't know, I feel like it didn't do much. I did a little bit, kind of. I just, I wish I had a beauty blender because I feel like I can see the brush strokes. I will say I used a lot and there's not much payoff. I feel like maybe it's very buildable. Actually, like in the view camera, it kind of looks nice. It's like all one color and this side's a little more discolored. I think I like it. I don't know, it, feel, it doesn't feel thick. Like it doesn't feel like a thick foundation. It feels really like smooth and soft. Okay, so here is the foundation. I 
think it looks good. I'm not gonna lie, it was really cheap. So I guess we'll have to check in later in the day and see how all of this wears. I didn't buy a finishing spray. I don't think finishing sprays work. But again, I'm not a beauty guru, so maybe they do work and I just don't know anything. I do have a finishing spray. It's just not from Amazon. So I might use it just to see how all this lasts. All right, next up is concealer. And I chose the main, this one. I've used this in the past, like a long time ago I used to use this. Now I use Shape Tape. Shape Tape is really amazing. I really, really like it. But this is really cheap. It's like one you can get at a drugstore. So this one, if I remember, I liked it, but it's been a while. This looks really, really light. Girl, we need to work on my under eye bag. Get it out of there, get it out of there. Come up off the sponge, little quick walk. Here she comes. See, this is what the beauty gurus do. I get my tiniest mirror in the world. A little bit here, there'll be eyeballs. I've seen people do it in like a triangle motion. I feel like this is not gonna be a good color for me. There's some rule with like, if you have a red undertone, you have to use a yellow concealer. That's probably wrong, I don't know. But I know there's like some color thing and I feel like I have like greenish brown bags under my eyes and I feel like this looks greenish, yellowish, and I feel like it's gonna make my bags look darker. I don't know the science of it, I don't understand how it works, but I do feel like that's gonna happen. Anyway, I'm gonna find all my little spots because she's got a lot of little spots. I also think you're supposed to use a different brush for concealer, but again, I don't know which one. I'll use this one. I don't know which one. You're I think you're supposed to use one, but I don't know. Usually just use my fingers, but we're in the middle of this coronavirus mess, and I'm not about to touch my face if I don't have to. I'm sure you're not supposed to use this kind of brush. Sorry, beauty gurus, but first of all, why are you watching my video? Because we all know that, like, I'm not trying to be one of y'all, okay? I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Okay. This brush is actually kind of doing a good job, even though I'm sure it's not for this. I feel like it's just, like, not really setting into my skin. It's just, like, I really want a beauty blender. Like, a beauty blender, like, presses it in. This is just kind of like smearing it around and not like getting it in my pores. I feel like my eyes still look like they've got bags under them. <gasps> okay, I'm going in with my hands. They're clean. Okay, I'm going in with my hands. It feels very creamy. I usually use like a pressed powder at this point, which I don't have. I just got a loose powder. I feel like it worked. I think it's gonna look like I've green bags under my eyes. Here is the pressed powder. It's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. And again, I think this one was really effing cheap and it had a million good reviews. So far, I'm actually kind of impressed. Like I've, I've only done two things. But... <gasps> she came with a little poof poof. Love her. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> Ew, it smells like um, really cheap baby powder. It doesn't smell good. And it's disappointing that this is gonna be the top coat because this is what like, if Eric kisses my cheek, he'll smell this. <gasps> so I don't like that. Okay, so it barely any comes out when you shake it around. Oh no, this is not good, okay. Ooh, she stinks. I can tell they tried to scent it like so that it smelled better. Ooh, they did not do a good job. It is very stinky. So I'm just trying to set my makeup in place. Most people bake their under eye and their contouring moments. I don't like to bake. I feel like for me personally, baking makes my wrinkles look more prominent. I've always heard that it's supposed to like get rid of fine lines, but I feel like every time I bake, I've used lots of different types of powders. I feel like it makes it like more wrinkly. I feel like this powder is not translucent. I look like a ghost. I don't know about this one, guys. I think it's just baby powder. <laughs> so I think it set the makeup, but it's definitely not very cute. Ooh, girl. Oh my God. Quarantine is not doing me nicely for my eyebrows and my mustache, girl. Good thing no one's gonna see me for another month, so who cares? Okay, I think I'll do eyes next. I don't wanna do my cheeks and stuff and then touch, because when I'm doing my eyebrows and eyes and stuff, I, I don't know what to do. Here is what the eyebrow thing came in. It's in a little cardboard box. Looks very like recycled, maybe it is, I don't know. Apparently I bought two. I got the dark brunette color. I've never used this. I only use the Benefit Brow Cosmetics. So I'm curious to see if this is any good because I go through Benefit Brow Cosmetics, like the defining really little one. I go through that so fast. If this works and it's cheap, I'll be very excited. So it has a little bristly brush. My eyebrows are a mess right now, so this is actually gonna be a bad judge if this even works because you'll be able to see if my eyebrows look good because my eyebrows are disgusting right now. So I'm gonna brush my little eyebrows up. Oh, hey girls, how you doing? Ooh, I definitely got my dad's eyebrows. And by eyebrows, I mean eyebrow. There's a lot of pluckage happening in this house. It might be too dark for me. Okay, 
nothing's coming off. Dang, I'm disappointed already. Huh, well, I just think the color's wrong. Like, it's like an ashy brown, so it looks very drawn on. Like, I like the Benefit Brow Cosmetics because when you draw it on, it literally looks like a hair. Like, it looks like a hair, whereas this looks like powdery. Yeah, I don't like the color, guys. Girl, I need to pluck my brows so bad. Okay, so here's what we got going on. It's hard, like my eyebrows are a weird shape right now because I haven't plucked them in so long, so I don't really know how to make them look normal and I'm too lazy to pluck them, so they're just gonna be weird shape. It works. I don't know how much I'm gonna like this because I also don't know how long it's gonna last. So we'll check in later and see if my eyebrows are gone. Cool. Now onto the eyeshadow. Now this was very highly reviewed. From the looks of it, I don't like it. I think the only colors I would probably use are like this cream. This one is supposed to be like a shimmery light color, but it's like literally gray. It's like a weird green gray color. Like I don't know why anyone would want that on their face. No shade to this company, I'm sure it's amazing. Also this I think is supposed to be like a black and it's like a, it just, it doesn't look great. Let's swatch them. Oh my God, I'm so so the colors I want to use are this one. So I'm gonna swatch her. That actually has pretty good payoff. Maybe I'll do like a pinky purpley. Ooh, okay, first of all, I put my finger in it and it all like basically came off. Very chunky, very chunky. Um, and I'll probably use like this mauve brown. I mean, that was actually not bad. We'll see how they go on with a brush. I always apply the like base coat with just my finger. I feel like a brush never really gets it on. So I'm gonna do that right now with my tiniest mirror in the world. Okay, this kind of works. I can see it. It's, it definitely has a color payoff. It doesn't feel thick. I feel like a lot of makeup eyeshadows now feel like really thick. This doesn't feel thick. There's that. You guys probably can't tell the difference. Now I need to figure out brushes. Maybe this one. I don't know. I don't know what these do. So for on my lid, I'm gonna do like this crusty pink that crumbles. Oh, actually, it's like not bad on. <gasps> Wait, is that pretty? <gasps> do I like her? Oh my tits. She's kind of cute. You cannot tell at all on this camera. <laughs> but it actually is kind of pretty. It's like a shimmery light pink. I like it. Huh. Shocker. So now I'm gonna go in with like the mauve color here and put that in my crease because I was told once that you have to put like a medium color in your crease in order to blend or something, which I don't know if that's true. I'm sure it is true. I'm putting that in my creasey. I think I was supposed to put it on before I put on the stuff on my lid, but whatever. These brushes are fine. I'm a bad person to ask about brushes though because I don't know anything about brushes. I know enough about brushes to know like what works and what doesn't, but I don't know why, if that makes sense. This feels nice. I don't think I'm using it correctly. Okay, now I'm going in with a dark color. Okay, it's not bad. It's If you like a really light, natural look, I feel like this actually might be an okay palette. It's not bad, it blended okay. I don't know how to blend stuff, so I'm actually a horrible person to be giving any advice at all on this, but I feel like it's fine. Okay, next we're moving on to eyeliner, and it is a CoverGirl eyeliner. This says it is a gel-like, smooth glide formula, all day pencil eyeliner. I doubt it. No shade, CoverGirl, but I'm a woman with leaky eyes. My eyes leak for the gods. So I also have allergies, I'm constantly like, have teary eyes, whatever. I've only found a couple eyeliners that work for me, and they're essentially like tattoos. I also don't like like a pencil type because it's blunt, so you can't get a sharp winged eye if you're going for that look, which is usually what I'm going for. Not a dramatic winged eyeliner, but just like I don't want a blunt end to my eyeliner. So I don't know about this, but we'll try. It definitely works. I mean, there's makeup going on my eye, which you might think is a crazy thing to say when I'm talking about makeup, but I swear to you, there are eyeliners I've got before and I try to get them on my eyelid and like nothing comes off. It's not like a really dark black. I can tell like over the day as like my eyelid makeup as I blink, it'll turn like gray. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like I feel like that's gonna happen. This is definitely not waterproof. Even though it says it is, it's a freaking lie. I can tell already. Yeah, this is a bust for me. I can't get like a sharp end. Oh. This is not good. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like it at all. Okay, I'm gonna try to fix this off camera, but it like, it's just like chunky and like, ugh. It like, I can't get a smooth line. Like, it's already blunt. Like, it's already a thick blunt. Like, this is trash. Trash. I hate 
that product. So many lies. It says ink it all day pencil eyeliner. Gel like long lasting fade resistant liar. If you want like a really messy, will for sure rub off, gross, horrible eyeliner, it's the one for you. Like you can't get a sharp like edge to it. Do you know what I mean? Like I can't get an, a sharp point. This side's just completely blurred. It's like having like a blurry effect to your eyeliner. I do not like it. I know within 10 minutes, this will be like blurred and like dripping down my face. Okay, moving on to mascara. Here we have this. This is what it looks like. 4D Silk Fiber Eyelash Mascara. I really like fiber mascaras. I know they make your eyeballs look like little spiders, but that's my jam. I'm really sad I don't have an eyelash curler. I might go get one. Okay, so I just went and looked in like my mirror in my bathroom, and I gotta say, the eyeliner is so trash. The eyeshadow is not great either. Like as great as I thought it was, it's not. I wouldn't recommend that. I think there's a lot of better palettes out there and you shouldn't waste your money. Um, I do think the foundation and concealer is good. I hate that powder. I can still smell it. So I don't like that powder at all. I don't know why it has such good reviews. It's literally disgusting. Here we go. So far it's looking fine to me. Nothing crazy. Oh. It's not as like spidery as fiber mascaras usually are. I didn't check and see if it was waterproof. I hope this is waterproof. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye, I'll be right back. I like that mascara. I know it's probably like too spidery for most of you, but I don't wear fake lashes really, and I don't have lash extensions like every other girl in Los Angeles. I'm a perfect candidate to do this because most tutorials that you guys will get on um, the internet, no tea, no shade, but they have tattooed on eyebrows, they have eyelash extensions, they have Botox, they have lip filler, they have a billion dollar dermatologist zipping, zapping away every zit off their face. And I don't do any of that stuff. So I am just Raggedy Ann McGee, normal person on the go. No shade to those people who do. I think they look gorgeous. And I think people who don't do that look gorgeous. I don't care what you choose to do with your face, but I feel like the majority of America doesn't do all those things with their face. Maybe I'm a better canvas to test things out on. Whereas I feel like a lot of girls will be like, try out this mascara. And then they're wearing the biggest fake lashes in the world. And you're like, well, you can't even tell if that's good or not because those aren't real lashes. For the people who don't wear fake lashes, I feel like that was, it's pretty good. Anyway, moving on. Bronzer. Here we go. It's called Butter Bronzer. I don't like the look of it so far. I don't really see a bronzer brush. They all look the same to me. Like, how do you know which brush does what? I think this is a bronzer one. It looks like maybe, I don't freaking know. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna beat it right on that crease. It's very light, you can barely even see anything. Light, tender bronzer. It's kind of nice, actually. I don't hate it. I'm surprised, I thought I would not like this. Obviously, I need to blend it in, but like, I feel like it's not terrible. I'm gonna do the rest of my face with bronzer. I'll be right back to do blush. Okay, it's... Not bad. Okay, now we're gonna try this blush that was highly recommended. This is what it looks like. I think it looks pretty. Get a nice one. Ooh, a lot of pop up. Do we see anything? It's cute. I like it. I forgot to buy highlighter. I forgot that everyone wears highlighter these days. Sorry, I'm an old mom. I don't wear highlighter. That's pretty. I like it. It's not like amazing, but it's cute. I'm gonna try to make a highlighter because I know y'all, everyone loves highlighter in the world. I'm just gonna use the shimmery pink. I know it's not really a highlighter color. I'm just kind of like brush it here to get a little more of a shimmer. Let's see if we'll do that. I just have a sparkly mustache. We're almost done, guys. Now, the piece de resistance. House Whoa. makeup, house laboratories. This is Lady Gaga's makeup. This was the most expensive item I bought. This was like $50, so it comes like this in a cute little pouch. Oh, it has quite a bit in it. So for 50 bucks, you get all this stuff. Not actually bad. So first we have a lip liner. So I'm gonna line my lips. It's darker than I thought it was gonna be. It's like a, a plum. Oh yeah, I'm scared. I don't usually wear dark lips, so this is scary. It's a pretty color. It actually matches like the eyes I did. This looks like a really light pink nude online, but it is pretty. Lip liner on, I think it's pretty. This is, oh, the packaging's cute. Hello, Gaga, come through. This is really cute. Oh, I love this. All over liquid shimmer powder. What? Liquid shimmer powder, I put that on my lips? It didn't come with a lipstick. It came with a lip gloss and a lip pencil. So maybe I was supposed to put the lip pencil on my entire lip. Here's the gloss. What do I do with this shimmer thing? Do I put that in the gloss? Here's the gloss. Ooh, she's very thick. I feel like I should have put on more pencil then. Maybe I should finish lining my, put it on my entire lips. I don't know how makeup works. Okay, so here comes the gloss. Okay. 
Okay, it's pretty. Here's the problem though, like I don't like gloss because if your hair gets stuck in it, I have a baby, he's gonna be like grabbing my lips. But it is really pretty. I do like it a lot. What the heck do I do with this? I put it on over it? <gasps> Did I do it? I don't know what that does. Oh, it's kind of, I can feel it. It feels like something's happening. I don't know. I probably did it wrong. There we go. This is the finished look, everyone. What do you think? Considering how cheap all the makeup was, it looks pretty good. I think the foundation was shocking and the mascara was shocking in a good way. I don't like the eyeshadow and the eyeliner and I hate the smell of the powder, but I will check back in with you guys a little bit later today and we'll see how this is all holding up. But this is what it looks like right now. What do you think? <laughs> is this what they do? Do they like, show your face? Like, this is what my face looks like. This is what my face looks like. You guys, I haven't even put on a bra yet today and I did a full face of makeup, so I'm feeling pretty accomplished during this quarantine. I hate wearing lip gloss. Gotta go. Many hours late there. All right, this is what we're working with. The lipstick, lips completely gone. The eyeliner is basically disintegrated. It's not even there anymore. The mascara is still killing it. The eyeshadow is still killing it. The eyebrows look intact. Kind of, they're just not very even. Um, well, this area of the eyebrow is gone, so. Um, and the face stuff kind of stayed. I'm impressed. Eyeliner, no way. The powder stinks, I would never use it again. I guess the bronzer and the blush is gone. But I love the mascara and I might use the eyeshadows again and I'll definitely use the foundation again, so. There you go, that's my Amazon review. I hope you guys like this video. Whoa, the eyeshadow actually like really did stay. That's shocking. Alrighty, I love you guys. And let me know what Amazon products you want me to review next, if any, or what you want me to do next during this quarantine. We locked up in this house, boo. Uh, follow me on my vlog channel if you want to watch me vlog every single day. All right, hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and wash your freaking hands. Love you, bye.